Hey guys, Random Axe Gaming here with a tutorial on Equivalent Exchange 3, which is basically just the Minium Stone. First of all, I'll show you how to make it. What you need here is first an inert stone, and you need four iron ingots, four stone, and one gold. And then when you have that, you just need to get eight shards of Minium, which drop off of monsters, and then you put the stone in the middle, and you get a Minium Stone. It's pretty simple, and I'll go show you what kind of mobs they drop off of here. Alright, so the minium shards should drop off of zombies, skeletons, spiders, any kind of hostile animal mob. And we'll just see here if any of them will drop one. Come on. There we go, so that one dropped one. As you can see, they're not a very high drop chance. But if you just... Oh, there's two now all of a sudden. Three? Nope. They're not a very high drop chance, but you will get them if you're just mining or something. You have to kill a skeleton every now and then, so... You'll get eight pretty fast. Alright, so back to the tutorial. This actually can turn... Blocks like wood, stone, sand, dirt into different kind of blocks. So let's see here. Doesn't want to turn grass into anything. Just wants to turn everything into grass for some reason. I don't know why. But you can see it'll turn... Usually it'll turn these into grass. I guess not this one. But it, for some reason it doesn't want to turn grass into anything else. So I can turn... This all into dirt right now. And then wood, I can turn into different kind of planks. If I go to a different block, I can change it back and it'll go to a different one, different one again, different one again. So that's how that works. And I guess it doesn't change stone. I thought it did, but it doesn't want to right now. So you can do that as many times as you want, and I'll show you on the trees here. You can change leaves to different kind of blocks. You can change the tree trunks, you can do whatever you want basically. You can make jungle trees, you can get jungle saplings from changing the leaves. Different kinds of wood. And you can do this as many times as you want, the stone won't go away. You take any durability damage. Until you actually start to use it on things. But first here I'll just show you the pumpkins. So if you find pumpkins and you want to set up like a little melon farm, you can just change them into melons. Kill them and then break the seeds, or put the slices in there and then get the seeds. And of course you can also change them back into pumpkins if you want for whatever reason. And the cool thing I found is you can actually turn the stems into melon stems or pumpkin stems. They start back at stage one, but it's still an easy kind of way to do that without using up your stone power. And of course you can also break them. And you can either just transmute them to melons. And then it does cost you durability on this every time you transmute something. So it has 15, 1,520 charges, so that's a lot of transmutes, but it will eventually go down. So I want to turn melons into seeds for some reason. I don't know why. But you can also turn pumpkin seeds into melon seeds. That's pretty useful. And some of the most useful things you'll be using this for are smelting ore or clay into bricks if you don't want to wait for a furnace, which is just one coal, seven raw ore, or just clay, whatever you're making. And over here, you can turn four stacks of stone, dirt, grass into flint. That's right, it doesn't work on auto crafting tables. Then you take your flint and you do about four different stacks and you get clay balls. Eventually you'll get a full stack. Come on, there we go. And then what you want to do with these is you actually want to make clay blocks now. So I've got four clay blocks. Take this. And then you can make one iron ingot. So four stacks of cobblestone, not really that efficient, but if you don't want to waste it, you could set up like an auto-crafting kind of 
system pumping it out of a chest. And you can also take iron. I believe you need four stacks of it. And then you can make ender pearls. And you can also turn ender pearls back into iron if you want for whatever reason. If you have an ender farm, you want iron. There you go. But you can also make gold. It takes quite a bit of iron, but you can make gold. And then when you make gold, you can turn around and turn it into diamonds. So four gold is one diamond. It's not too bad. And then let's see what one diamond is here. That's four gold. And then four gold is, let's see here, 32 iron, about half a stack of iron. So that's not too bad. So if you're mining for, let's say, a power suit or something, and you find like a lot of gold, you can smelt it down and then just turn it to iron. And then you basically have your power suit right there. If you want silk touch or something, so you can get grass, move grass underground, do fancy things with grass blocks, you don't really need it anymore. You can just use a minium stone, take a piece of cobble, and you have a grass block. So the last thing here is you take two wood, you can just use two here, and then a minium stone, and you can make obsidian. So that's kind of overpowered. You can just make a portal that fast. Anyway, thanks guys. If you have any questions, leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.